What is good, Ape Nation? It's your boy Stock J back with another video. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the one and only AMC stock. While I'm extremely bullish for the near term and long term futures, I'm also going to run some numbers with you guys and talk about how many AMC shares hypothetically have to be bought back, especially considering the fact that there's a possibility that AMC short interest is at 40 plus percent. So I'm going to run some really cool numbers for you guys to show you how many shares would the shorts have to actually buy back. I'm going to talk about AMC share price and what on earth the data is showing and why on earth I'm very excited now before i do that though i do have to mention some very important things first off i'm not a financial planner guys this is all for entertainment and informational purposes only and also if you guys can please smash the like button if you want to see more videos like this it not only benefits me but this entire ape community as a whole and the last thing is if you guys can please check out the mumu link down below in the description if you do sign up for mumu you're not only going to qualify for an iphone 13 pro giveaway meaning you may win an iphone 13 pro but you're also going to get up to five free stocks each with up to three thousand five hundred dollars by simply signing up with the link down below. So with that out of the way, let's get on with the video. So AMC, guys, as you guys know, there was a big, big, big drop to about $20. And since then, we've been on a bit of a reversal, but we are a little bit sideways. But at the end of the day, I'm not necessarily scared whatsoever because some people speculate that this giant drop had to do with shorting, massive shorting, selling, you know, all sorts of crazy attacks. And I want to talk about what's going on. So as you guys know, there's been some crazy things reported. Not only did Trace Trades report this, but other people too. They basically found that there are many sources confirming from TD Ameritrade to E-Trade to RBC that AMC short interest would be at 40.25%. Hashtag not a glitch. And as you guys know, uh, TD Ameritrade claimed that it was a glitch. It's not legit, but it does not make sense. And here's why. Look at TD Ameritrade's official website. The short interest is at 40.25% as of the 15th of December. Once again, okay, it's one platform saying that, okay, maybe it's a glitch, maybe not. I'm not going to make that claim. But then look at this right here. This is directly from uh, RBC, another very credible platform. And check this out. It's circled right here. The short interest of the percentage of the float would be 40.25% for ticker symbol AMC. Once again, 40.25%. And tons of different brokerages are saying the exact same thing over and over again, guys. It's going all over the news. It's becoming pretty viral now. You can see that a lot of people are talking about the fact that AMC short interest could be 40.25%. And if it's a glitch or not, the question is, how can we trust any data now? How do we know that Ortex is more data or not? So regardless of that, guys, I'm going to just run some numbers with you guys and show you guys the truth okay even if amc short interest was reported by ortex how many shares do these hedge funds have to buy back or it's not necessarily counting synthetic so look at this right here so 513.3 million is amc's floats that's not counting synthetics ortex is saying that the short interest is 17.04 percent so if we go by ortex's number right 17.04 percent of the 513 million is equivalent to 87 million shares that have to be bought back that's not counting synthetics so this could easily be hundreds of millions if not billions to be bought back and that's just from ortex a lot of people trust ortex but what if we go down and look at something else what if we go based off the numbers from rbc e-trade and td ameritrade well once again, the AMC confirmed outstanding shares would be 513.33 million, right? We know all about those numbers. That's not counting synthetics. Remember, guys, I'm not counting synthetics. Now, look at this right here. RBC, E-Trade, and TD Ameritrade, they report a 40.25% short interest, 40 plus percent short interest. That's very high for AMC. And then if you do the math, 40.25% of the 513.33 million AMC shares is equivalent to 206 million AMC shares that have to be bought back, not even accounting for synthetics. So that's the bare minimum. At least 206 million AMC shares would have to be bought back. And that seems more reasonable than what other estimates are showing. So once again, guys, what I'm trying to tell you guys is I don't necessarily believe that it's just a glitch if three major platforms are reporting the same thing, that 40.25% was AMC's short interest. And I do find it very suspicious. Now, regardless of what number you go with, if you just go up and then talk about Ortex, even Ortex's data is still showing a ton of AMC shares have to be bought back, almost 90 million. And then that doesn't count synthetics, which can make it hundreds of millions, if not billions. If you go with this number, it's going to be over 200 million at the very least 
least, the very least, guys. I'm saying not that many, but at least that many. It could be hundreds of millions more, if not billions. My point is I'm very bullish and my conviction has gotten stronger and stronger and stronger. Now, I do find this very suspicious. I want to talk about this one last time. I mean, how is it that E-Trade, TD Ameritrade and RBC are all reporting the same thing? 40.25% short interest. And it makes me wonder, who are they actually playing with? Where are they getting their data from? They they claim it comes from third parties. Could it be that they were basically, you know, communicating with people from the back end? And then now they have to make the claim that, oh, it was a glitch. It was this, it was that. Well, guys, you're not the only ones reporting that. Is it really possible for all three of them to glitch and have an error simultaneously? I don't necessarily know what to say about that. I just find it very suspicious and very, very weird. And then I also want to talk about this right over here. The fact that there are big, big, big people people saying the exact same thing major banks too okay i have to exemplify the fact that this is a canadian bank that's saying the exact same thing we have big banks we have major platforms all reporting the same thing i don't necessarily think that it's a glitch which is why people from frankness are basically reporting the same thing that this is very sketchy and this is why you cannot basically fall for the fud that's out there this means that look the data we have is not 100% accurate. I don't 100% trust Ortex, which is why I don't always report it. But right now, Ortex is saying that AMC's short interest is around 1699 to 17%. At the end of the day, I don't trust any of these numbers 100%. I do think that they could have merits behind them, guys. And it's very important that you pay attention to that. They can have merits behind them. If Ortex is showing that the short interest is going up and up and up, it could be an indicator that's getting more shorted. But if it shows it going down, it may not be 100% accurate either. So the main thing and the main lesson is there's one thing that all the data confirms, okay? Whether you trust Ortex or not. The data confirms that hundreds of millions of AMC shares have to be bought back. And our thesis is correct. They all say one thing, and I know that's a fact. Now, do I know the extent of it? No, I don't know the exact number. I don't know if it's, you know, 87 million or if it's 206 million or if it's a billion or 10 billion. I don't know if 20 billion synthetic shares exist or not. But I will tell you one thing. At the end of the day, AMC is very manipulated and they're continuing with these crazy practices the volume from yesterday was 30 about 31 million but then out of the volume you see this right here 56.6 percent of all amc trades have happen on off-lit exchanges once again showing that this thing is very manipulated and they're doing whatever they can to keep the price down so what do i think of amc guys well this news makes me even more bullish very, very bullish because at the end of the day, we have a confirmation, a confirmation that not just 80 million, perhaps 206 million plus AMC AMC shares have to be bought back to help this thing go to the absolute moon. Once I tell you guys this, you guys know the MOAS is not just on the table. It's becoming closer and closer and more real than ever before. And we are basically having the edge this is probably how the hedge funds managed to bring this thing down to 20 despite the very strong support we had at around the 25 to 28 dollar range this is how they did it that it, it's probably true i'm not going to guarantee anything but i just want to put it out there regardless of how true the data is there's one thing i know and that is these shorts are over leveraged they are basically digging their own graves deeper by keep on if they keep on shorting amc and this thing has all the potential to squeeze to the absolute moon. This makes me even more bullish and excited. So thank you guys. I don't know if that is always perfect. But one thing I do know is that AMC has the squeeze potential and that we the apes were right all along. Thank you. Be patient on this play. Give it the time it needs and the squeeze is on the table. I thank you. Have a great, great, great rest of the day. And I'll see you on the next one. AMC to the moon and peace out.